and on the eighth day. God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. I need somebody with arms strong enough to wrestle a calf and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to call hogs, tame cantankerous machinery, come home hungry, have to wait lunch until his wife's done feeding visiting ladies, then tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon and mean it. So God made a farmer. God said I need somebody willing to sit up all night with a newborn colt and watch it die and dry his eyes and say maybe next year. I need somebody who can shape an axe handle from a persimmon sprout, shoe a horse with a hunk of car tire, who can make harness out of hay, wire, feed sacks, and shoe scraps, who planting time and harvest season will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon and then pain in from tractor back, put in another 72 hours. So God made a farmer. God had to have somebody willing to ride the ruts at double speed to get the hay in ahead of the rain clouds and yet stop in midfield and race to help when he sees the first smoke from a neighbor's place. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales, yet gentle enough to yean lambs and wean pigs and tend the pink combed pullets who will stop his mower for an hour to splint the broken leg of a meadow lark. So God made a farmer. It had to be somebody who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to seed, weed, feed, breed, and rake, and disc, and plow, and plant, and tie the fleece, and strain the milk, and replenish the self-feeder, and finish a hard week's work with a five-mile drive to church. Somebody who'd bail a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing, who would laugh and then sigh and then reply with smiling eyes when his son says that he wants to spend his life doing what dad does. So God made a farmer.